Yo, what's up guys? Skulls Nightshade here. I know we've had a little gap in between our salon tips videos, so I wanted to give you guys something a little bit different. Yes, technically this is still a salon tips video. However, we're going to go over all of the things you can do outside of the salon with fashion. Recently, NGS has been doing an outstanding job adding quality of life features that make the game function a little more smoothly and add convenience to things that we do normally in game. With the periodic changes that we've had, there is so much that you can do outside of the salon that other than very specific things, you can change your entire look without even stepping foot in the salon. I'll show you all of those features right now. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll start by going to the menu and selecting the tab that says gear and sub palette. From there, you're gonna go down to where it says customize looks. We're gonna go down the list starting from the top where it says looks. This is where you can see all of your saved looks. You can preview them too with this little window, which is very nice. It's actually easier to preview your looks this way than in the salon, because if you do it in the salon, you actually have to switch to that look completely instead of getting this nice little window. Next is the hairstyle tab. You can change to any hairstyle you currently own. However, there are a few things that are limited here. For NGS hair, you can't change the length. There's normally a slider that allows you to change the length or other parts of the hair, depending on the hair that you choose. Another thing is you won't be able to change the color out here. You would have to go into the salon for that. But for simple changes, this is extremely nice on the go. And you can see what the hair would look like on you with the preview window. Next is the body paint. You can select or replace any body paint that you own that matches the body type that you're using. Type 2 body paint with type 2 body and type 1 body paint with a type 1 body. You get to preview this as well. Some of the body paints link to your inner and base wear. So technically there is a way for you to change the color of the body paint, but I'll come back to that later. You can change your outfit if you do use full outfits. I personally don't use those. If you do select these, keep in mind it will overwrite your layering wear. So your outerwear and your base wear or set wear. I'm pretty sure all of the outfits that we have available are base game spec. Again, I don't really use the outfits, so I'm not 100% sure. If someone could confirm this in the comments, that would be amazing. But what that means is that it'll change your body type to base game body specs, as well as change your innerwear to your default base game innerwear. Now, before we move on to layering wear, I do want to come back to something that I mentioned earlier about the body paints. Some of your body paint and makeup matches to things like your outerwear, your base wear, and your innerwear. So just keep that in mind when you do make changes through this menu. If something syncs up in a way that you don't like, you may have to go back to the salon or just select another piece of layering wear that matches the color scheme you're going for. Moving forward, you can change your outerwear, your base wear, and your innerwear. Again, keep in mind that you can't change the color of these items. I know saying it so many times is a bit redundant, but believe it or not, it is very easy to forget this when you get super into the changes that you're making to your look. Fashion can sometimes be a little blinding. Next is accessories. You can select any of the accessories that you own. Of course, the rules still apply. You have to do it within 18 points, so you can't add anything that goes over that point value. Now, out of all of the features that we can do outside of the salon, I personally feel like this is the most limiting. If you guys have seen my accessory video, you've seen that I like to make a lot of changes to the accessories that I use. It's very rare that I just apply an accessory and I don't change the size, the color, the attachment point, or even the rotation of the accessory. This feature is really good for removing accessories or maybe just adding something quick. Like as an example, if you have a really big accessory and you're trying to do photos with friends, if you wanna just go ahead and remove that accessory, you can do that from here without going to the salon. Next, we move on to body paint priority. If you've noticed in the previews, the way that my body paint is on my body doesn't really make sense. The tattoo goes over the stockings. And personally, it's been driving me a little crazy looking at that. So to fix that, what you would do is just rearrange the body type priority by putting the tattoo underneath the stockings. 
You can also adjust the priority for the innerwear. This is post edit skulls. <laughs> so when I said this, I realized that another way that you can do this and maybe save a little bit of time is when you put on the body paint initially, if you already know the way that you have the priority arranged, you can just set up the body paint differently so it automatically goes to the places that you'd like. And that way you don't have to change the priority so it doesn't affect other outfits. But this is just another option that you have to do that. Anyway, back to the video. Next is the ornament display settings where you can either show or hide parts of your layering wear or even if your hair has extra pieces that can be toggled on and off. Same with hiding the inner wear. The way that this works outside of the salon is a little different. Normally in the salon you can see all of the options and they're just grayed out if you cannot use them. Here, if an option isn't available, like example, if you have an outerwear, but it doesn't have anything you could toggle on and off, you don't see that listed here. Not a huge deal, but a little different than what you're used to seeing in the salon. The next option is changing your character motions. So if you want to change something like your jump or even your glide, you can do that from here. Unfortunately, with this option, it doesn't give you a preview box, so you'll have to test them out in the open world. But it is very nice that you can change these on the go in case you want to match up with a friend or you just don't like the motion that you chose and want to do something a little different. Something very important that you should keep in mind is that you don't have a back button when you're doing this like you do in the salon. So I highly advise keeping track of the changes that you made through the look breakdown here. That way if something looks off or you feel like you made a mistake, you can narrow it down to your most recent changes. And that pretty much wraps up all of the features. There is a lot that you can do without stepping foot in the salon. There are some features I would love to see in the future, like the ability to change your makeup or even change colors using a color change pass. But overall, I'm very happy with the changes that we've gotten when it comes to quality of life in New Genesis. Hopefully we get a ton more features and I can make another video for you like this showing you what you can do. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please make sure to subscribe. I spend a lot of time in the salon, so hopefully these tips help out you fashion lovers out there. Alright everyone, stay fabulous and of course, stay comfy.